The Jeffrey Museum is closing today to begin a two-year reconstruction project. It's the last day that visitors can enjoy the historic rooms and grounds. Our reporter Katie Pilbeam is there. Uh, Katie, tell us what's going on. Hello there. Well, it's a very busy day because it's all about a celebration. It's the last day to enjoy these nostalgic rooms. They run from the 1600s right through to the present day, so 400 years of history. And as you can see at the moment, I'm in front of the Edwardian period room. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's my favourite one of all. The museum is already 102 years old, so it's already achieved a lot. So we're celebrating today but it is closing for two years. So it's going to endure an 18 million pound renovation. Now, I've actually got a curator here right now. We've got Danielle uh, Patton. Hello to you. Are uh, you going to tell us a bit more about this two years? Um, it already looks great. I mean, the museum looks fantastic. It really is a feast for the eyes. So what can we expect after two years? Yes, yeah, so we've got quite a lot um, going on. Um, the main thing will be a lovely new gallery that we are going to build called the Home Gallery. And as you say, the period rooms are great in what they do, but they tell quite a narrative, uh, quite a narrow story of home. And what the home gallery will do, tell a bigger story. So we'll look at the working classes and just all different ways that people make and experience home. Mm -hmm. Now, £18 million is a lot of money. Do you think it's money well spent? Yes, definitely. So um, as well as the gallery, we're also going to be um, building some new spaces. Um, so community groups will be able to experience our beautiful period gardens. We're going to have a beautiful garden pavilion overlooking our period gardens and our herb gardens. So all groups will be able to use that. And we're also going to really um, expand the collection. More of it will be on show so that people can come along and see. And um, we're going to, it'll be more accessible. So we're going to have a study room and a library as well. So yeah, definitely money well spent. <laughs> And why this museum? If you're choosing a museum in London, why would you choose to come to the Jeffrey Museum? Well, I think what's really lovely about what we do is that um, everyone has some experience of home. So anyone, and not always positive, we do also explore the kind of more negative sides of home. But everyone can come along and recognise something, especially in the rooms that were outside at the moment, the 20th century period rooms. We always have people coming along saying, I had one of those or my parents had one. So I think there's a connection for everyone. I've definitely seen that, actually, <laughs> definitely. And just to say, it's not completely closing. There are going to be some elements open, aren't there? Yes, so if anyone who knows the Jeffrey, they've seen the large front lawns. So we're going to have lots of special events and activities going on there. But also our restored arms house um, is going to be open and it's a really lovely space. So it shows how people that lived in the museum when it was an arms house kind of had it, would have experienced their home. So you've got lots of candlelight, gaslight. So it's a really immersive, special experience if you can come along to that. I do actually feel like I'm at home. It's great. I really wish my home did look like this. But, Danielle, thank you very much indeed for all of that information. So it's quite a sad day, really, because it is closing, as I say, for two years. But it's also a celebration, and it is a feast for the eyes, if you fancy coming along to have a look. It is very busy already. There were 5,000 people here yesterday, and today is set to be just as busy. But that's it from me. I'm just going to enjoy some of these um, homely vibes here. Sounds good. Katie Bilbeen, thank you very much indeed. You can, of course, head over uh, to the Jeffrey Museum after London Live News has finished, of course. The Jeffrey Museum is closing today to begin a two-year reconstruction project. It's the last day that visitors can enjoy the historic rooms and grounds. Our reporter Katie Bilbeam is there. Katie, tell us where you are now. Hello. Well, right now I'm in front of those nostalgic rooms. I'm in front of the 90s rooms. It's very much reminding me of my childhood. And the entire museum is full of rooms like this. It goes from the 1600s right through to the present day, from all of the, the decades, the centuries, for everyone to go and have a look at how people from the middle class in London enjoyed their homes. Now, the museum is already 102 years old, but it is closing today. It's the last day to enjoy all of these wonderful uh, scenes because it's closing for two years. It's going to endure a £18 million pounds, uh, rejuvenation to make it bigger and better and even more popular than it already is. Now, this weekend has been a phenomenon because we've had 5,000 people uh, visit the museum. There's lots to enjoy. There's singing, uh, there's crafts, there's lots of interactions going on. So it's a great place to come if you do have the Sunday off to come with your family. It is really a sight to see. Now, we're going to hear more about this um, two years, the plan, and the, you know what to expect, what is actually going to happen. Uh, so we've got Sonia Solikari just here. You're the director Hello. of the museum. Uh, yes. Um, 
No, tell us, two years, that's a long time, 18 million pounds, a lot of money. Yeah. What's yeah. going to happen? Yeah. So we're basically increasing the amount of publicly accessible space by 50%. So people will be able to enjoy much more of the building. That's the historic parts of the building. So a lot of the museum is housed in 18th century buildings. And we'll be opening those up on three levels instead of the one that it currently is. So people will be able to go down to the basement to enjoy new galleries of the home, which will talk about how, how we live and experience domestic space. They'll be able to go to a study like li library centre up on the first floor. Um, there'll be a new learning pavilion for schools and there'll be a studio space which is somewhere we, where we can welcome people for conferences, for parties, for events. So it's really transformational. Yeah, and it is exciting stuff. And as I understand, it's not all sad news today, is it? Because there are going to be certain elements that are open. So people can't yeah. come today, but they do want to come at a later stage. They can do. Yeah, so we've got fantastic gardens, and they're going to largely remain open during the closure period, and we're going to be putting on a lot of events in those spaces. So really do check our website and see what's, what's up and coming. Uh, and also we've got two historic restored almshouse buildings, and they're going to still be accessible by tour. So again, keep an eye on our website and it will all be posted up there as to what we're putting on over the next two years. Okay, excellent. Sonia, thank you very much thank indeed you. for your time today. And as I say, if you love history, if you love home furnishings, um, it really is, you're going back in a time machine almost. And as I say, this one here, it's the 90s. So I'm looking at all these crackers and these videos and even just the plates. And you're thinking, this is how I spent my Christmas when I was a little girl. So it really is quite magical. So, yep, it's the last day. If you are in London, London, then it really is a treat. Thank you very much indeed.